it's time of dish with D. That's me. It's time for what I eat in a day, in a week on my WW Blue Plan. This is my montage that I post on Instagram. You don't see me, you just see my food. So I hope you will enjoy it. I hope you get something out of it that, hey, maybe I like to try that. Any questions, just leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of what I ate. Leave me a comment for that too. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, there's a subscribe button. I love to have you as part of the Dish With D community. We're doing great things here. You should be part of it. We have fun. We eat well. Two great things. And if you enjoy these, give them a thumbs up. I appreciate the love and support. Enjoy the video and roll footage. All right. I'm still out of stuff for lunch, so this is going to be an interesting combination. I have an Ole Wellness Extreme Wrap for one point. I put one point the little Laughing Cow Cheese Wedge, cheese wedge I spread with some everything but the bagel, some sprouts, and some cucumber. So my wrap is two smart points. My puffs are the Boulder Canyon Protein Puffs. You could have, I got them at Sam's Club, five grams of protein. You could have 25 for three smart points. So my lunch today is five smart points. On the blue plan, it would be five on the purple plan, and it would be five on the green plan. Yes, you are not seeing double. This is overnight oats again today. I just felt like it. It's just like my favorite thing in the world. So I am having my usual suspects, half a cup of oats, half a cup. And actually, it's more like a point's worth of the almond milk. Um, one third cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. Um, vanilla, cinnamon. That usual. It's my it's my ordinary overnight oats, I like to call it. And then I let it sit overnight in the more, and the, and the uh, teaspoon of chia seeds. <clears throat> Excuse me. I said it let it sit overnight this morning. I'm topping it with the usual suspects. Crushed hemp, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, 13 lily chips. And today I decided to do a little bit of maple syrup drizzle. You can see that. Yeah. The Lakanto cinnamon maple is zero points for a tablespoon. Actually it's two tablespoons, but I only used one. But yes, I'm so looking forward to digging into my I call this the standard overnight oats. The standard. But it's just as yummy. Can't wait to dig in. For me, on the blue plan, four for my oats, one for my milk. Purple would be one for my milk, zero for my oats. And on green, you'd have to count that yogurt. So I'm really not sure. I would say six points. My toppings are one, zero points each for each teaspoon. Some people would say, well, give it a point. You could if you choose. I choose not to because there's zero points for each teaspoon. I know. I run the law. I, I run on that fine line. So I'm going to sit down and enjoy this high protein, filling, delicious breakfast of champions. It's Dish with D, Power Oat Bowl. Love, love, love it. And no, I like it cold. I do not like it hot. Just in case you're asking, thinking. Oh, I did top it with um, the Lakanto Golden. I have packets of it. And if you don't know what that is, that is their... It is more of a uh, sugar in the raw substitute. It's, it, I would not consider it brown sugar. It's very light. I don't like it for brown sugar substitute. It's just too light for me because it doesn't have that heavy molasses -y taste that I think brown sugar needs. So I don't use it as brown sugar. I just top a lot of things with it. It gives it that little crunch on top. So, but I use, if you're interested, I use the sucre and gold for my brown sugar substitute. It's Got an immensely delicious depth of flavor. And yeah, it's a little bit more pricier, I won't lie, but it's awesome. It's the best brown sugar substitute on the planet, in my opinion. And if you want to go look at it on Amazon, I do have a link in my Amazon link in my bio. Go check out Miss Sucrin Gold because you will not be disappointed in the taste. I promise you that. All right, my lunch on the blue plan. I have two crackers. I think they're two for three points. One is one and two is three. I have a hard-boiled egg with some mustard for zero. I have baby bell cheese for one. My turkey is low-fat, it is zero. My pickles are zero. So for me, it is a three, four smart point lunch. It would be four on the purple plan, I believe, as well. And on green, I have to count one point for my deli meat and two points for my egg. So that is my quick little lunch today. I can't wait. And I do have some mustard on my crackers with some of these nice microgreens. I do enjoy my microgreens. Enjoy, folks. Enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy what you're Dinner eating. tonight is a bowl. I have two points of steamed potatoes with, oh, God, I don't know how much chicken. 
few pieces of chicken, some fresh local Jersey asparagus, and some zucchini that I roasted with the asparagus in the oven. And a little of the baby rays or rays, a no sugar added barbecue sauce on top, zero point amount. So for me, it is a two point, well, we'll call it three points because I do have some oil in there. So we'll say three point dinner. Purple, it would be one point because you want to cut the potatoes. And green, I've added chicken and I really don't know how much is there, but it's my little bowl of deliciousness. Hey, D coming at you with two food finds. I had to go to the store for my Cinco de Mayo celebration tomorrow. And if you haven't seen, I have uploaded my five tips for having a successful Cinco de Mayo on plan up on my YouTube channel, Dish With D. Links in the bio. But you're here to see my food finds. So the first thing I found was six for seven potato bread. I've been wanting to try this because, you know, I love six for seven. It's near and dear to my heart. Uh, one, slice, uh, one slice is one point. Two slices are three. So look, be on the lookout for tomorrow's breakfast because this will be the star of my breakfast tomorrow. Not sure whether I'll be doing avocado toast or French toast. Maybe we'll do back to back two days in a row because I want avocado toast and I want French toast. So we'll try that. And this has been recommended to me by many a subscriber. It's the better than butter, peanut butter. One tablespoon is one point. I don't think there's any peanut butter in this quite honestly, but so you love peanuts, defatted peanut flour. So there is peanut butter in here. So they actually had one clearance. I guess it's not a big seller. But I figure for one point, I'm willing to try it because that's what I do. So there we go. Hmm, smells like peanut butter. Though it definitely smells like peanut butter powder. So this is what it looks like. I mean, it has a really beautiful consistency. There's no like big oil spill on the top. Then let's look at the nutritional information. Two tablespoons, 100 calories, no saturated fat, two grams of sugar, four grams of protein. So there's some protein in it. So let's try a little bit. Not a fan. Not a fan. I don't like. It has a funky flavor that's not quite all peanut butter. Where the peanut butter powder, I don't get that. So I'd have to say. I mean, I don't hate it, but I wouldn't buy it again. I just sit here eating it. Yeah. Not a fan. But people like it. And if you like it, I say go for it. But D, she's going to say hard no on this one. So thank you for joining me. All right. It is Wednesday, isn't it? I don't know what day it is. It's time for veggie scramble day. So I have mushrooms, local Jersey asparagus, freshly picked. One of those mini red bell peppers. A couple eggs. That's about it. A very mild sprinkling of, of low-fat mozzarella. I don't think there's a teaspoon on there. I just wanted to put a little doodad. Salt and pepper. I have, yes, the coveted 647 potato bread. For three points, two slices are three points, one slice is one point on all plans. I have a little bit one point's worth of avocado with some everything but the bagel and some citrusy garlic from Trader Joe's. It's my all-time favorite and it's awesome on avocado toast. So my breakfast is three, four, four smart points. Three points for my bread, one point for my avocado, is zero for my omelet. On per green, you'd have to count four points for the eggs. But on purple, it'd be the same four points. I'm so excited. I will come back with my opinion of the potato bread. Because don't y'all want to hear that? I think I even want to hear it. I can't wait to dig in. All right. It is Wednesday, isn't it? I don't know what day it is. It's time for veggie scramble day. So I have mushrooms, local Jersey asparagus, freshly picked. One of those mini red bell peppers. A couple eggs. That's about it. A very mild sprinkling of of low fat mozzarella. I don't think there's a teaspoon on there. I just wanted to put a little doodad. Salt and pepper. I have, yes, the coveted 647 potato bread for three points. Two slices are three points. One slice is one point on all plans. I have a little bit one point's worth of avocado with some everything but the bagel and some citrusy garlic from Trader Joe's. It's my all-time favorite and it's awesome on avocado toast. 
So my breakfast is three, four, four smart points. Three points for my bread, one point for my avocado, is zero for my omelet. On per green, you'd have to count four points for the eggs. But on purple, it'd be the same four points. I'm so excited. I will come back with my opinion of the potato bread. Because don't y'all want to hear that? I think I even want to hear it. I can't wait to dig in. All right. I like it. Hold the how well it holds up to the avocado. This, this bread is not folding. Definitely tastes like potato bread. Now we've all had potato bread, so it kind of tastes just like regular old potato bread. I'm actually impressed, 647. You've done it again. Another winner winner bread. So thank you. And I and I know you guys who can't get the 647. I feel sorry for you, I do. But you can get it on nettrition.com and Amazon, but Amazon's really expensive. So nettrition.com has the best price. So if you want to order from there, you certainly can. Lunch today is Notoria's Mini Lavash Flatbread. This is the Cauliflower Coconut. It is two points on all plans. I have zero point low fat turkey, some pickles, and some microgreens for zero. And a hard boiled egg with some mustard for zero. So my, I only have to count my wrap for two smart points. On green, you'd have to count the turkey. It's probably like less than a, probably a point's worth. And the egg would be two points. Enjoying my breakfast wrap today. Saving my points for Cinco de Mayo tonight. Okay, happy Cinco de Mayo. I have two of the Pound Dropper Taco Cups on my plate. They are two points each. I have the Mr. Tortilla. Uh, I think they're called Pico um, Taco uh, Tortillas. They're the street taco. I did fill it with my homemade cheap pan fajita mix. My filling, other than the cheese, is zero points. I have chicken and some of the cheese. So I put one point's worth of cheese. And I could have four of those tortillas for one point. So I have two so far, so I will probably be having two more. So my whole dinner will be four, five, about okay, seven points. And that's not fat Greek yogurt on top. Can't believe it, it looks delicious and I can't wait to dig in. Pound dropper, you rock. Look at those. And I rock too. All right, lunch today is a Notorious Mini Lavash cauliflower coconut that I put in the toaster and toasted it. I topped it with one point, you can see it, of avocado and some microgreens, some zero point amount of turkey and some of my homemade pico de gallo that I made yesterday. So good. So for me on the blue and purple plan, it would be a three smart point lunch. On green, it would be a four smart point lunch for the turkey. I love these. It's gonna be like a, it's very, it's very stiff. So it's gonna be like a big tostada. Some fun to have. These flat outs are so good. I thought, um, lavash, I call them flat outs, whatever. Tortillas, nah, whatever I'm gonna call them. You can go on their website, Atoria's Family Bakery, and put Delish 15 and get 15% off your order. You need to have these two point mini lavashes, or their one point mini lavashes, or heck, their regular lavash in your life. Tell them D sent you. All right, my breakfast this morning. Buckle up, people. This is gonna be a good one. I wanted to make cracked out egg salad for breakfast. What is cracked out egg salad, you ask? Thank you for asking. It is, I have two hard boiled eggs that I mashed. I use yogurt in my egg salad, some people don't. You could use mayo, feel free. And I put in there some bacon bits and some sun-dried tomatoes and ranch seasoning. I used a teaspoon and a half of the McCormick's bacon bits for zero points. I did two sun-dried tomatoes. I didn't count those. So I chopped them. They're not in oil. They're just dried from nutstop.com. 10% off with the link in my bio. You've got to try these for nothing else. Get the sun-dried tomatoes. And then I put some chives in there. Mixed it all up. I put it on what, you ask? My grits loaf. If you go to my channel, link's in the bio. Dish with these grits loaf. There's a little loaf. That's three points. You make it, there's several different ways you can make it. Um, you can use a banana, you can use applesauce. This one was more of a savory one. You can do a sweet one. I use butter extract. Uh, I didn't use a banana today. I used applesauce because I honestly didn't have a banana to use. So I used unsweetened applesauce, three tablespoons of quick grits, an egg. Like I said, I kept it savory with butter extract. I didn't really put any extra sweetener in there. So it's more of a toast kind of thing. A grits toast is what I was going for to top my um, crack egg salad. 
cracked eggs. Oh my God. Look at that. Fresh drives on top, a little everything but the bagel. I tasted it on the spoon and it's, I may be, I may be, you know, fixed for life. I will definitely have to film this next time because this is amazing. And on the blue and purple plan, it is three smart points for this whole breakfast. On the green plan, you have to count four points for your eggs, three points for your loaf. So it'd be seven points. But let me tell you something. Could you do one egg? I don't know. It'd be pretty skimpy. Maybe you had some avocado. But this is my breakfast on the blue plan for three smart points. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. All right, we're having leftover fajita fixings from last night. But I did make a fresh piece of chicken. That is just some everything with the bagel seasoning. I did make some broccoli and carrots and cauliflower. There's some leftover of the peppers. There's some fresh black beans and there is some rice. I don't know if you can see the rice somewhere under there. There are six points of rice. So my bowl is six points. All I have to count is the rice. Yay me. All right, this is a humongous bowl of, I'm gonna call this a fajita bowl. Yeah, I'm getting into these bowls. This is a fajita bowl for six smart points. On the blue plan, it'd be zero points on the purple plan because I have brown rice. And on green, I have to count this piece of chicken and it's at least, at least three points. All right, let's go, Pew. I'm going to go enjoy my din din. All right, lunch today. It's street tacos for D. I have some leftover chicken that I put on there. It's just one little strip, not even, you know, on green, you'd have to count probably at least a point or two. Maybe not two, maybe one point. I have the Mr. Tortillas little street corn tortillas one net carb you get four of these this is the pico de gallo flavor four of them is one smart point on all plans so i have four points for the tortillas zero for my chicken i do have a tablespoon of butter and peanut butter i'm not a huge fan of this quite honestly but i'm thinking if i put it in the bottom of the, of the wrap is like i i got a tablespoon between all four just smear it a little bit give a little bit of a peanutty taste it might work so I have a tablespoon of that for one point. I have the rest of my uh, pico de gallo that I made the other day for zero and some lettuce. So for me on the blue plan, it is a two smart point lunch. On purple, it would be two. And on green, it'd probably be like three with the chicken. So this is kind of like a little, quick little lunch. It's a little bit different. Again, keep your lunches a little bit, it's like this is easy to put together, but a little bit different. You know, you just you gotta keep the food different. Keep you loving your new lifestyle. And I'm loving mine. All right, look at this beautiful mess. Breakfast this morning is stuffed French toast, strawberry cheesecake, stuffed French toast. You heard that right, strawberry cheesecake. I have two slices of the 647 potato bread for three points. I thought I'd try it with French toast. I hear it's not so good because it's very delicate. We'll see how it tastes. It was very precarious doing it, but I put it in the toaster and toasted it up a little bit afterwards, so it's still a little bit soft, but I'm wondering how it tastes. So I did the standard French toast, and then inside I have about a half a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. I mix with a teaspoon of cheesecake, sugar-free jello cheesecake pudding mix to make cheesecake, and I put strawberry extract in there. Yeah, strawberry cheesecake. I know. How genius. <laughs> I also put some strawberry extract in my egg batter. I know. When you have extracts, use them as much as you can. I have several fresh local Jersey strawberries because guess what, people? It's Jersey strawberry season. And you know, I'm all about our Jersey berries. They are really good. And then I top it with a little bit of Ready Whip, not even enough to worry about, and some Lily's chocolate chips. A zero points amount. So for me on the blue plan, this is a three point breakfast. It is three on purple. And on green, you'd have to count the egg that I used to make the French toast, but I would use egg whites, honestly. But look how good this looks. I am so excited. And we have local asparagus here in Jersey as well. So that means it's time for my famous strawberry asparagus salad. Yep. I don't know. I probably won't film it. It's kind of a basic recipe, but it's just, you'll see it when I have my lunch. But look how good this looks. Yes, yes, you need this in your life because three points never looked so good. Have a great day, folks. Good morning. Look at my Mother's Day breakfast. It is a asparagus and mushroom scramble. <laughs> Leaked a little bit there. For zero points on blue and purple and four on green. 
two slices of 647 potato bread, three points on all plans, with a tablespoon of the Polander sugar-free with fiber peach preserve. So one tablespoon is zero points on all plans. So I'm super excited for my three-point breakfast. Yes, the potato is two slices for three points. What are you having for breakfast this morning on this Mother's Day? Dee is having her favorite veggie scramble. Right. Mother's Day grill. You know, when it's Mother's Day, the husband grills. So I have boneless, skinless chicken breast. It's a little runny, the plate. I did make a bruschetta for the top. So it's like a chicken bruschetta with a little grated Parmesan cheese. A little homemade street corn, what I had around the house, and some green beans. So for me on the blue plan, I'll give a... You know, there's not that much cheese in my corn salad. And there's not much oil in my thing, but I will give everything two points just because but this is normally would be zero points but i'll give it two points on the blue plan and the purple plan on the green plan you'd have to count the chicken and the corn so it'll probably be around i say six points give or take but i can't wait to dig in i know it's a little bit runny but remember i'm not on the food network i'm a home cook i think it looks so fantastic look at that yum happy mother's day ladies and gents